9 Babies Born With Real Tails Let's find out the science behind the babies that were born with real tails. Many people are under the impression that our prehistoric ancestors had some kind of a tail. However, as a species, we have progressed beyond the point where we require such an organ. The human embryo develops a tail in the sixth week of gestation, complete with numerous vertebrae. The tail, however, disappears within the next several weeks of growth, and the vertebrae unite to create the coccyx, or tailbone, in adulthood. On rare occasions, a human child can born with a vestigial tail, resulting from the activation of dormant but still present DNA coding for faulty characteristics. The most famous example is snakes that have developed one or more legs, so people can also develop a short, fleshy tail. Not all protrusions from the tailbone that seem to be tails are considered real tails by doctors. Numerous growths or cysts can occur directly on the tip of the tailbone. Although there are no bones in the vestigial tail, it does have nerves, blood, tissues and muscles. Surprisingly, in some people, the vestigial tail is movable like other parts of the body. Here are 9 babies reported with real tails. Number 1. A pseudotail, which is not the same as a real vestigial tail, is also present in certain individuals. Number 2. Although a pseudotail resembles a vestigial tail, it is produced by an extended coccyx. Number 3. According to a study, the most common reason for a pseudotail in 10 examples gathered from the literature was an abnormal extension of the coccygeal vertebrae. Number 4. However, the tails can be generally removed without complications from human newborns after surgery. Number 5. It is not necessary to remove human tails for any particular health-related cause. Nonetheless, having them can be unpleasant, painful, or inconvenient in other ways. Number 6. Some people who are born with tails choose to maintain their tails for a significant portion of their lives, while other families make the decision to have their newborn child's tail removed at birth. Number 7. There have been examples of patients as old as 17 years of age displaying their human tails to doctors for the first time. Number 8. In certain regions of the world, human tails are regarded with widespread horror and criticism, and infants who are born with human tails are often shunned by society. Number 9. In certain other cultures, such as those found in certain regions of India, tails are seen as divine gifts or blessings and therefore they are given a high level of respect. Subscribe to Know How TV to watch more news like this.